Shine bright like a diamond Shine bright like a diamond Welcome back to Yoga Balance Dressage. I'm Shemaine Hurtado and I'm going to show you how I ride through a training level test three today. And uh, I have uh, my bronze, silver, and gold medal with USDF. And I have trained horses and riders for about 20 years now. And so hopefully I can give you a few tips to help you ride through your training level test three or whatever test, this should help you prepare as a basic level in dressage. We always go back to the basics. So uh, today, again, we're going to go through training level test three. You will see my animals. This is my living room. Um, I want to show you that I you can practice this in your living room, just like I am. And, uh, and you can uh, do this whole thing in your living room, too. And even with your animals in your lap, we can trot with your animal in your lap. She doesn't mind at all. <laughs> so anyway, um, so I hope you enjoy. I'm going to show you uh, training level test three from the front, rear, and side, and the aids that I use to prepare, the um, weight aids that I use um, as I'm doing my test to help my horse follow what I am going to prepare him to do. And... Uh, so I hope you enjoy. I hope this helps you prepare for either your first show or for your championship ride. Good luck this season. Hope to see you guys out there. The horse that I'm riding in the clips that I'm going to show you on this video is Rodarte. He's a four-year-old um, Hanoverian gelding and uh, he received a 70% score on this test at the California Dressage Society Championships. So he did quite well. And uh, we're very proud of him. I trained him from the very beginning. Okay, now we're going to ride this test from the front. So, um, I am. I have my trusty little steed right here, Rocky. And uh, we're going to go ahead and get ready to do this test. I'm watching a video of it right here, so I'm going to press play. And then we can get started going down center line. We're trotting down center line. And then we firm up for the half fall and halt and relax the elbows, salute, get ready, and initiate the trot with the pelvis and the legs, look to the left for the turn, and go through that corner, and then onto the one loop, and then as you approach the quarter line, you rotate to the right, and you start riding him onto a right circle. Uh, big right circle towards the next quarter line and then you rotate again back to the left turning to the left through the corner half hauled a little bit close everything up and initiate the canter with the inside left hip allowing with your elbows in that canter and then you're going to start that circle so turn just a little bit more weight the left seat bone just a little bit more and we're almost coming to the end of the circle. Straighten just a little bit as you come to the long side and uh, keep the sh inside shoulder back a little bit, especially for the corners. You wait again. You need the bend of the horse to match the arc of the corner. And then onto the diagonal line. Straighten a little bit, firm everything up a little bit, back down to trot, relaxing those elbows. Look to the right for the corner, coming through the corner, and then close everything up down to walk. Relax your elbows and your hips. Follow in the walk a little bit, and then start to lengthen the reins and allow your horse to look for that longer connection. Relax that neck down a little bit more in the walk. Take nice long strides. And then turn your shoulders a little bit more for direction. As you turn your shoulders, your hips turn a little bit, your knees turn a little bit. Everything moves with your shoulders. And then you want to start to shorten your rein. So I always take my outside rein first, then my inside rein. Then I want to look to the right again because I'm on a right corner here. Firm up a little bit, close up his frame, and then initiate that trot with my seat and allow with my legs. 
and I'm turning into the loop at the quarter line. I'm gonna half fall a little bit, rotate to my right seat bone, and I'm sorry, my left seat bone, and do the circle to the left a little bit, and then as I push the quarter line, half fall and circle back to the right, corner back to the right, half fall, canter up with that inside seat bone, and keep cantering a little bit with my shoulders slightly turned to the right. Turn a little bit more for the circle. Weight that inside seat bone a little bit more for that circle. And we're coming around the end of the circle. And as we come towards the end, we're going to straighten our body just a little bit. Center our weight just a little bit. Keep a little bit on the right seat bone, especially for the corner. And half all close everything up and trot. And back to trot. Down the long side. And half all and then rising trot and turning your shoulders so that your weight goes onto your inside stirrup and if your weight is on your inside stirrup your horse is going to again bend his spine a little bit under you so he bends on the arc of the circle half halt shorten the outside ring first inside ring second back to sitting trot half halt for the corner turn the shoulders onto the center line and then straighten as you get to the center line and trot, 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 half halt, close everything up, halt, relax the elbow, salute, and pet your horse. Good job. All right, so we're starting, trotting, squeeze to halt, release, salute, squeeze with the legs, initiate the trot with the seat. And then turn the shoulders to the left. Keep turning the shoulders to the left, sitting on the left seat bone, through the turn and onto the first quarter line on the loop. And then rotate to the right, look to the right, and ride a big circle into the next quarter line. Rotate back to the left seat bone, left shoulder back, half halt, canter up. And now we're cantering, looking to the left, then we start our circle, a little bit more left bend, flexing with the left rein, allowing with the elbows through the circle, staying on the left seat bone as we do the circle. So spine moves into my outside seat bone, straightening onto the straight away. Turn again the shoulders and sit on the seat bone for the corner. And the second corner onto the diagonal. Start to straighten, then half halting everything, closing it up, and we're back to trot. And we're looking now to the right, going through the corner to the right, closing everything up to the walk. And we walk, walk, allowing again with the elbows. So you have a nice, relaxed walk, letting those reins get longer, hips get longer. Follow. Remember to always follow with the walk, with the elbows and the hips. Not try to push with the hips Ugh. really hard because then the horse slows down. And then we're going to turn our shoulders a little bit to direct them to the side again, to the ladder at the corner. Shorten the outside rein first, the inside rein second. Be on the right seat bone because we're turning through the corner to the right. Close everything up a little bit and initiate the trot. Squeeze with the legs, with the hips. And through the corner, onto the loop and half of the quarter line. Change the bend, keep trotting. Ride that big half circle, half out of the quarter line. Change the bend to the right again. Get ready for the canter, half out. Initiate the canter with the inside seat bone. Allow with the inside rein so you don't block the inside hind leg. And the circle turn just a little more. Weight that inside rein, just or inside seat bone a little bit more. And as we're coming to close the circle, we're starting to straighten our body, even out the weight a little bit, keeping a little bit to the right. Turn the corner to the right, firm up the pelvis and down to trot and turn the corner still so we're still turned to the right and then we half halt and then start posting allowing with the elbows so we're posting up to 
the elbows and not posting with our hands as well, only with our seat. And then half halt, shorten the outside rein first, inside rein second, trot, 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 down the long side, half halt, turn the shoulders to the right, down center line, straighten, and trot, 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 half halt, tighten everything up, halt, relax the elbows, salute, and we're done. Pet your horse. Now we're coming down center line, and I'm allowing with my elbows, and I close everything up, tighten my pelvis for halt, relax, salute, get ready, squeeze with my legs, initiate with my hips, turn to the left, half halt, continue through the corner on the left, and come into the loop, the one loop, and as I approach the quarter line, I start to turn my shoulders to the right now with a little half halt, and now I'm going to the right, and as I approach the second quarter line, I half fall a little bit, rotate back to the left, half fall in the corner, initiate the canter with the inside seat bone, allow a little bit more with my elbows because the canter is long and the horse likes to put its head down uh, in the canter a little bit, so I'm turning my shoulders more on the circle so I'm more weighted on my inside seat bone. And as I finish that circle, I straighten slightly, center slightly, and then I have to turn again for the corner. Turn the shoulders, weight that seat bone through the second corner onto the diagonal line, straighten a little bit, half all back down to trot, nice and straight. And then now I start to rotate my shoulders to the right for the corner, tighten up a little bit, half all for the walk, and now we're walking on the uh, corner. And then now I'm starting to allow my reins to slide through my fingers. And I like to follow my hands because the horse's head goes up and down. If you look closely, the horse's head goes up and down in the walk. It should. It's supposed to. It's natural. We have to follow with our elbows. Right now my reins are going slack because my horse doesn't move his head. Um, and then as we approach the corner, I start to shorten my outside rein up first, then my inside rein up, and I'm still allowing with my elbows as we're walking. And then I'm gonna close everything up with my little half off and trot. And as we're trotting, I'm allowing again with my elbows a little bit soft, turn to the uh, loop, and then rotate to the left, because now my loop is looking to the left, to the outside of the ring, and then I start to half halt and sit to the right again, half halt in the corner, prepare, and into the canter with my right seat bone, and I squeeze a little bit with both legs at the same time, turn a little bit more for my right circle, sit a little bit more weight on my right seat bone, my elbows are allowing because again, at the canter and at the walk, the horse's head bobs. Straighten a little bit towards the end of the circle. And now we're going to go through the corner, half halting, trot. Just keep turning your body to the right for the corner. Straighten a little bit onto the long side. Half halt. Allow for the posting um, uh, stretching circle. And you're posting up to your hands. This is really important. Your weight stays on your right stirrup a little more so the horse bends through the circle. Then you shorten your outside rein, shorten your inside rein, trotting half out in the corner, turn your shoulders to the right down center line, straighten as you finish up center line, keep your post or your sitting or your posting trot rhythm, close it up, tighten your stomach muscles, halt. Relax your elbows on the reins and salute. And you're done. And pet your horse again.